Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, another successful flight for Blue Origin, the model Sonics unveiling, Piper unveils M600 and announces massive UND order. I'm Brie Cross, it's April 5th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Blue Origin completed another successful launch of its new Shepard booster, and this is the third successful use of this booster and the third successful booster recovery. On its website, Blue Origin stated that, quote, New Shepard flew again on April 2, 2016, reaching an apogee of 339,178 feet, or 103 kilometers. It was the third flight with the same hardware. We pushed the envelope on this flight, restarting the engine for the propulsive landing only 3,600 feet above the ground, requiring the BE-3 engine to start fast and ramp to high thrust fast. The flight lasted about 11 minutes and their website provides some great videos of the flight and the experiments that were carried aloft. The flight carried research payloads from the University of Central Florida and the Southwest Research Institute in a crew capsule that Bezos hopes will carry humans on future suborbital flights. The company hopes to be carrying paying passengers on suborbital flights by 2018. ANN's Tom Patton was on hand for Sun and Fun 2016's opening day and had a chance to take a good look at some significant upgrades to the Sonics and YX sport planes. What do you think, Tom? John, tell us a little bit about some of the upgrades that you've done on the Sonics and the YX for the B model. It's really interesting because we started this, this design back in 98 and it's achieved a lot of success over the years uh, as a home-built airplane, but there's some things that other builders wanted and we tried to incorporate those into the new airplane. One is the seating and the, the biggest thing is this cockpit configuration from the turtle deck forward to the uh, to the firewall is wider, uh, it's straight so it, it with a single stick it gives you a lot of room. We've, we've changed our our turtle deck configuration so we actually moved the seat back a little bit and what all those mods have done is allowed us to put in a larger fuel tank so now we have 20 gallons on board uh, we can have dual screen avionics now compared to the original sonics uh, we've done some things like electric flaps that uh, allow us to remove the wings a lot easier there's a less complicated uh, mechanism for that uh, so it can be transported easily uh, all of those things that have, have added up, uh, the cowling is, is uh, sufficient to handle many other engines besides our favorite, the AeroV Turbo, for this, this airplane. So uh, all in all, those, those things have refined the airplane. We're using a, a great deal of billeted parts, uh, aluminum parts, for many of the fittings, uh, like the motor mount fittings, et cetera, that, that allow us to exchange motor mounts easier, and uh, construct, construction time is way down. Even the canopy frame is billeted and welded and all formed for the builder, so that saves hours and hours of time. After the break, Piper unveils its M600 and announces a major order. Cub Crafters is unique in that we can design, prototype, and certify, and put into production an aircraft. There aren't very many companies in the world that can make that claim. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Piper brought its new M600 airplane to Sun and Fun for the show, and Piper CEO Simon Cattlecott said that the certification of the airplane is still planned for later this year. 
Katokaz said that the three M600s in the flight test fleet have demonstrated a top speed of 274 knots and a maximum range of 1,441 nautical miles and increase over original projections. He also said that Piper is targeting final FAA type certification of the M600 in the third quarter of this year. He also announced that the company has made a deal with the University of North Dakota's John D. Odegaard School of Aerospace Sciences to supply more than 100 single-engine trainers for the school. Piper Seminole Twins have been a staple in the program for some time, and Cattlecott said that now the students will also begin their training in Piper aircraft. The order will replace the institution's current fleet of single-engine aircraft with the Archer TX and its multi-engine Seminole fleet with new Seminoles. Both the Archer and Seminoles are equipped with Garmin G1000 avionics. Deliveries are expected to begin in the fourth quarter of this year and continue for eight years. After these messages, we will show you where to find the Sun & Fun Innovation Preview. Are you stall smart? Ever since Orville and Wilbur took to the skies, pilots have been taught that the more airspeed you have, the better off you are. But over the last 100 plus years, we've learned that's not always the case. Take stalls for example. The common belief is that if you have sufficient airspeed, the aircraft won't stall. The fact is, an airfoil always stalls at the same critical angle of attack in relation to the relative airflow, regardless of airspeed, configuration, or weight. Learn more at AspenAvionics.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Our Sun and Fun Innovation Preview is online and it's better than we hoped for. It's over an hour of aero innovative disruption at its best. You'll see a link to the SFIP in the header of aero-news.net, and it's also available on other sources. A small UAV coalition has reportedly split into two factions. Four of the companies are focused on selling consumer products and are set to form their own organization. DJI, Parrot, GoPro, and 3DR are leaving the fold. Quest Aircraft continues to receive accreditation around the world. New Zealand has certified the Quest Kodiak aircraft, adding to its accreditation in the Asia-Pacific region. Asia and the Pacific Rim are currently the second largest market for the Kodiak. If Drone War sounds like the title of a science fiction movie, it's not a movie and it's not fiction. Drone maker DJI has filed a patent infringement suit against competitor Unique. It's claimed that products and technology are at the heart of the suit. Parkland College Institute of Aviation has stepped up with an enhanced program to prepare students for air carriers. They have developed a training curriculum that allows students to receive a restricted ATP pilot certificate with fewer flying hours. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The NTSB has issued a safety alert addressing concerns for arrivals at major flying events such as Sun and & Fun and EAA Air Venture Oshkosh. The alert says these events pose unique challenges for pilots and air traffic controllers that include extremely high density traffic, special flight and communication procedures, a rapid change in environment, and changes to air traffic control separation standards. ANN has been talking about this in our daily aero sports update reports for the last two years. It's critically important that before flying to these air events or any major air event which involves heavy traffic that your pilot skills are sharp and your knowledge of all procedures regarding the event is up to date. The Safety Bulletin also reviews accidents that are related to the high density traffic surrounding large air events. This is a case where reviewing the mistakes other people made can be important to your own safety. Over the next few months, ANN will be reviewing loss of control prevention as it applies to operating in heavy traffic air events. We'll be including specific hints regarding safety at EAA AirVenture in our Aerosports update reports. 
Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.